let us begin this session with the anatomy of the femoral nerve femoral nerve is the largest branch of the lumbar plexus and it is the chief nerve of anterior compartment of the thigh we know that the thigh has totally three compartments anterior compartment posterior compartment as well as the medial compartment so all the muscles of the anterior compartment of the thigh innervated by femoral nerve and in the same way the muscles of the posterior compartment of the thigh innervated by sciatic nerve and all the muscles of the medial compartment of the thigh innervated by obturator nerve so if we discuss about the formation of the femoral nerve it arises from dorsal divisions of anterior rami of l2 l3 as well as l4 nerves within psoas major muscle and when we discuss about uh, the course of the femoral nerve after it emerges from the lumbar plexus it emerges from the lateral border of the psoas major and passes between the psoas major as well as iliacus muscle and enters the thigh behind the inguinal ligament which is lateral to that of the femoral sheath which means the nerve enters into the anterior compartment of the thigh into the femoral triangle behind the inguinal ligament where in the femoral triangle the nerve is related lateral to that of the femoral artery because the femoral artery as well as femoral vein enclosed by the femoral sheath there's a reason we are calling it as the femoral nerve is lateral to that of the femoral sheath and femoral sheath encloses the femoral vein as well as femoral artery about 2 cm below the inguinal ligament it splits into anterior as well as posterior divisions in the femoral triangle and these anterior as well as posterior divisions are separated by lateral circumflex femoral artery so the lateral circumflex femoral artery is the one which it divides or splits the femoral nerve into anterior as well as posterior divisions so here anterior division gives off two cutaneous branches as well as one muscular branch and the posterior division gives off one cutaneous branch which is the saphenous nerve and next are four muscular branches now let us discuss in detail about innervation of the femoral nerve so when we talk about the innervation of the femoral nerve first one is the motor innervation it gives innervation to the iliacus as well as pectineus muscle but when you talk specifically about the anterior division anterior division gives off innervation to the sartorius and the posterior division gives innervation to the quadriceps femoris which includes rectus femoris vastus lateralis vastus intermedius and vastus medialis and articular genu it is supplied by the branch from nerve to the vastus intermedius and this is about the muscular branch and when we talk about the sensory innervation anterior division gives off medial cutaneous nerve of the thigh and intermediate cutaneous nerve of the thigh and this is what is about the sensory innervation is from the anterior division and when we talk about the posterior division posterior division gives off specifically one important cutaneous nerve called as the saphenous nerve which supplies the skin on medial side of the leg and skin on medial side of foot up to ball of grade two so after discussing motor as well as sensory branches next is about articular branches hip joint is supplied by the nerve to rectus femoris and knee joint is supplied by nerve to three vastae and vascular branch is mainly given off to the femoral artery by this we completed the sensory motor articular as well as vascular supply of the femoral nerve now let us discuss about the clinical correlation that is the femoral nerve injury femoral nerve injury is more commonly associated with the stab gunshot wounds or by the pelvic fractures and what about the clinical features clinical features are motor as well as sensory in nature for example there will be a weak flexion of the thigh especially due to the paralysis of the iliacus as well as sartorius and the patient is unable to extend the knee mainly due to paralysis of the quadriceps femoris and sensory loss is typically seen in the patients 
of uh, the femoral nerve injury over anterior and medial aspects of the thigh it is mainly because of paralysis of the medial as well as intermediate cutaneous nerves of the thigh and on the medial side of the leg and uh, foot up to the ball of the great toe is mainly because of injury or paralysis of the softness nerve. So by this we completed in detail about uh, the femoral nerve anatomy, its innervation and the clinical application.